Well, well, well. Carter Elliott, uh, actually, let's just say it. Carter Elliott's at a gala right now. Uh, we recorded the full episode for today, this morning, and normally Car is available like all morning long. It's like I have him until lunchtime and then he's got to leave. No, 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 not today. Not today when this topic was on the agenda. He had a gala to go to at 11 a.m. that he needed to leave at 10 a.m. for. Who has a gala on a Tuesday morning? That's beside the point. The point for me is Carter Elliott ducked this conversation, and this is the conversation. After a full year of begging for Kate and Hauser, that's what Carter did. He begged for the superstar talent that was Kate and Hauser, as did many, by the way. A lot of people did this. Uh, Kaden Hauser has been named the backup quarterback at his new destination of East Carolina. East Carolina has has Kaden Hauser as the backup. Now, the guy who beat out Kaden Hauser uh, is a good quarterback. Um, Jake Garcia it was a former four-star. Now, Jake Garcia is also at his third destination and has never won a job before. So maybe Kaden Hauser wasn't the transcendent talent everyone tried to scream at us about. Uh, does warrant mention looking around at the other former Michigan state quarterbacks who left here. We had Sam Levitt, who was the third stringer, ended up getting a look at the very end of last season, really the fourth stringer back when Peyton Thorne was there. Sam Levitt is going to start for Arizona state this year. So at least one of the guys in this quarterback room ended up. Okay. Noah Kim was the guy who won last year's Michigan state job he, uh, it hasn't been publicly announced yet, so I might be breaking some news here per a source in our Discord that maybe I shouldn't be saying. Uh, Noah Kim is not going to be named the starter at Coastal Carolina. Noah Kim has been informed, reportedly, that he is uh, going to be the backup. So, Caden Hauser and Noah Kim, after all that screaming last season, not getting starting quarterback jobs at their new destination. Dion, as an unbiased third party to all of this, you witnessed all of the conversations last year, and then you've witnessed what has happened now. Uh, are you surprised that Caden Hauser will not be starting at East Carolina? I'm not surprised that Caden Hauser won't be starting at East Carolina, and I'm certainly not surprised that Carter Elliott made up a gala that he was going to to, dis- to duck this conversation. Just so everyone knows, I've been awake at 6.15 in the morning because Cart has a gala to go to on a Tuesday morning. Um, So, yeah, no, I got an issue with him. (laughs) No, I love this stuff. But um, I looked up the transfer portal rankings of Caden Hauser and Jake Garcia, by the way. Um, This is the kid that everybody wanted at Michigan State. The 512th ranked person in the transfer portal last year was the guy that they wanted starting at quarterback for them. And the guy that beat him out, 798th ranked person in the transfer portal, the 69th overall transfer portal quarterback (laughs) is the guy that beat Caden Hauser out. I mean, the the, the dude stinks. He stunk at Michigan State. Like every Saturday, Michigan State would go down 7 nothing, and then you just have to hear Carter say, oh, put Hauser in, put Hauser in, put Hauser in. It never mattered then. It's not going to matter for uh, where is he at? East Carolina. <laughs> it's just not going to matter no matter where he goes. He stinks. Um, shout out Aiden Childs, man. He ran them boys out the building. Yeah, it's just like big uh, to throw some names out from past Michigan State years. It's big like Damian Terry vibes. Like, if your starting quarterback's just not good, we're just going to scream about the third stringer until we get a look at him. And you you really never get a look at him because the coaching staff is never going to play a dude who stinks. So it just feeds the constant echo chamber of social media being like, this dude's clearly good, our coaches are idiots. When in reality, this dude probably couldn't win a, a starting job at any respectable program in the sport right now. I think that's very indicative of what happened here. Uh, East Carolina is not some world-beating program. Now, they can win football games. They're, they're not a horrible program. But it's a lower level, and you can't beat out a four-star you're rated higher than. I think that bodes exactly where your trajectory is headed. We have Michigan State Twitter, like, doing the whole dance with each other. And, look, Michigan State Twitter hates me, so I, I'm I'm not alone in this. I'm probably biased in how I view some of this. But uh, Matt Charbonneau is like a Michigan State reporter who was very publicly against Caten Hauser last year. And he threw a shot last night when this news came out where he basically like quote tweeted some of the MSU Twitter people. Like uh, I forget exactly what he said. Like, am I, am I still delusional? 
And it's like, do we really need to do this? Can we can we just admit everybody on last year's team was bad at football? All of them. Like the, the guys who did start, the guys that were backups, they were all bad at football. And there was no correct answer. Honestly, Mel Tucker ended up like kind of doing everyone a favor for the trajectory of the football program because now you got a fresh start with a good quarterback. And you weren't going to have a good quarterback if Mel Tucker was still the head coach right now. And uh, I think you sort of dodged a bullet in more ways than one. And hopefully we never have to have this conversation again. Can, can we call the Michigan State fan base out just a little bit? Just a little bit. As long I as you them. make it clear you're doing it and not me. So I, I'm not I'm not calling them out like in a disrespectful manner, right? Um, I'm just going to say, because I saw the tweets last night too. Listen, I'm a sleepwalker. You know what I mean? Like I, I follow a lot of the Big Ten stuff. Um, Michigan State fans, like yeah, you're above like Caden Hauser and Noah Kim. Like you, you don't need to be the if if you were right about them, you don't need to double down. If you were wrong about them, you don't need to double down. Like this is a legitimately a good team. Aiden Childs is legitimately a superstar quarterback. You don't need to be focusing on them. Like in my opinion, and th- this is why I'm calling them out. Michigan State is as big of a football program as any of those other Big Ten schools. They have the money. They have the facilities. The Lambos are on the field. Recruits clearly want to go there. Like, Mel Tucker proved all that. He got $100 million off, like, eight games, right? He proved that this school wants to fund the football program. It's just now time for everybody to back it up. And they got, in my opinion, they had the best coaching hire of the cycle as well with uh, Jonathan Smith. So it's like... The the university outside of what Mel Tucker did <laughs> um, is doing everything to show that they're this level of football program. It's just now time for the players to back it up. And like at the end of the day, like I, I get fans become attached to certain players, but like Michigan State fans, you definitely don't need to be attached to Caden Hauser or Noah Kim. Like it's okay to move on and just be like, hey, I was wrong. They stunk. Yeah, right. hundred percent. Okay. Uh Deep breaths, everybody. The season's almost here. And also, these quarterbacks stink, and they're gone. Let's just let it go. It's that time, Cart. Football season is approaching, and you know exactly what that means. It means that we are both going to bet and bet a lot with our friends at MyBookie. Yeah, MyBookie is the best and premier sports book used by us over here at Sleepers Media. They have everything you need, Greg, with football season approaching. There's nothing I love more than looking at a nice Saturday slate and even leading into a little bit of Sunday, dipping into the NFL. But there's no better place to do it than with my bookie. And I think we got a great offer for the folks over uh, at my bookie if they want to tap in with us. We sure as hell do. And I'm going to tell you all about that offer. But first, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the great benefits of betting with my bookie. My bookie is safe, secure. Most importantly, when you win, you get paid quick. If the first two legs of your parlay hit, cash out early, use those funds on another bet or let it ride for a chance at a bigger payday. With football season coming, they're going to have a bunch of great things in store for you, whether you're looking to bet futures game lines, player props, all of it is available with our friends at MyBookie. And you can get a 50% deposit match up to $1,000. There's a link in this description, promo code SLEEPERS. With MyBookie, make sure you get that 50% deposit match. Use those funds. Maximize your chances of winning as football season gets here. And we'll be there with you every single step of the way. 